I've been debating for a long time to actually make this video, so for all of you guys who don't like ranting videos, then feel free to click away, or even click the dislike button if you guys don't uh, like the topic I'm going to talk about, but it will be VGO, and also to preface as well, in the future, I might have a gambling sponsor who actually uses VGO. So I do want to preface and say, as of right now, VGO seems trustworthy. It seems legit. I don't think their, their overall goal is to scam anyone, but why I want to, currently want to say that I don't trust them is because of several factors out there. So I'm going to point out a long laundry list of ideas that I've had in my head the past few days, and again, this will be a rant video that I don't do too often on the channel, but the overall question is, what is VGO and why are we randomly trusting blockchain technology or blockchain cryptocurrencies out there? If you want to call this a cryptocurrency, it's really not. It's just kind of a, a form of gambling on the blockchain, whatever that even means. It's a fictitious way of gambling and people are still trying to tie it to CSGO, even though it has absolutely zero ties to the game whatsoever. So the first question, a question I've been asking VGO themselves on Twitter, they respond to me on, on some questions, but when I ask them who owns VGO and what does VGO stand? for, those are two questions they never seem to answer. So 10 points to whoever in the comments can actually tell me what VGO stands for. I have asked countless people, including VGO, what it means, and no one can seem to tell me. But again, that's really not too sketchy. And whatever these points I do make, I seriously, I do trust them for now. I don't think they're trying to scam us or trying to, you know, just take their money and run. So it might be a long-term thing. But again, the overall overwhelming question I've talked about in the past is who owns VGO? That's the question I want answered by them themselves. If they want to go ahead and respond with a name or even a company would really work out. And if that company happens to be OP Skins, would we really be all that surprised? The rumors ever since VGO partnered with OP Skins several months ago before their launch was that OP Skins had some sort of board member or some sort of uh, ownership of that company, which would make sense because in all of this, they stand to profit the most. It's their partnership with OP Skins that allows them to actually trade, buy, and sell their skins most frequently instead of trying to establish their own marketplace, which would not work out in the slightest. We know that we really trust OP Skins. Would we trust a VGO marketplace? Most likely not. So it does seem most likely, although we do not know who the owners are, which is suspicious in itself, we don't know who the owners are, but it does seem likely OP Skins has some official ownership ties to this website, and I would love to see some kind of announcement from VGO prove me wrong, because that would make me trust them all the more. But what makes me most angry about this entire situation is all the CSGO YouTubers out there, and I might be one in the future, but again, more importantly, the people who are promoting VGO as a platform itself. Now, I understand that there's some CSGO gambling sites out there, very few, that are doing other things besides VGO. They've incorporated VGO as a part of their gambling, but they're also still doing CSGO skins. But the promotion of VGO itself as a platform, when it really has zero ties to the game of CSGO, can we all for a second admit, and you guys can try and disagree in the comment section, this is an open debate, so please, I cannot promise you guys are going to reply to every single comment, but I will see every single one. So leave a comment down below what you guys think about this, but can we all for a second agree that the one great thing that Valve has done the past two months, besides you know a lot of big future possible updates coming, is the fact that they have halted CSGO gambling. They have almost, to a certain degree, almost killed CSGO gambling entirely, and that's a great thing. Those are player-based numbers that we really do not need. The whole other topic about CSGO dying, that's another debate I could talk about in a separate rant video if you guys want that, but the one great thing is CSGO gambling is borderline dead, and VGO has no ties to the game, and I, I feel like it's honestly a bunch of YouTubers out there, and there's there's few that you, know, that you guys know about that don't take any kind of sponsorship like this, um, and again, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I have in the past, and I, I might be taking gambling sponsors in the future as well, but hopefully they offer stuff besides just VGO that is actually CSGO related. Like my last sponsorship was CSGO Money or CS Money. I love that because I actually use the website, but I feel like a bunch of CSGO YouTubers are using this as an excuse to make themselves feel better and say CSGO gambling is back, CSGO gambling is saved, when really all in all, VGO is now just like any other gambling site, just like any other gambling form. It has no ties to the game that we actually love to play. And people are kind of using that as an excuse to actually put it in their videos as a form of sponsor. Which I understand. I understand more than ever all the YouTubers out there who are trying to make a living doing YouTube and especially CSGO YouTubers out there trying to make a living as well. I live on my own now. I'm trying to work a full-time job on top of that that I that I do love. And again, there are still expenses out there that I'm not ever going to be probably a rich guy. So I hope you guys understand when I take sponsorships, I have to pay the bills sometimes too. But there are certain YouTubers who don't need to pay the bills and they don't need to promote stuff like this that is all right right now, but it could be a, a terrible thing in the, in the future if something does go wrong. So I want you guys to know I'm not calling out anyone specifically. And again, I think it's going to be a trustworthy platform for gambling. But at the end of the day, this is specifically for gambling. It has no ties to CSGO. It is specifically gambling. If you're going to promote this to your audience, that is all it's meant to be. There's no fancy skins you can actually have in game. No fancy skins you can actually technically trade. I love how on the actual VGO website, they say it's, it's meant for trading. Like that's actually a thing. No, it's a form of gambling that you can actually use these fictitious skins for. There is no way to use these 
in game. No way to really, uh, who would actually trade these based off float? I don't think that's a, an actual thing. Maybe I'm wrong. If you guys have actually traded VGO skins back and forth for floats and wares and what they look like, then I, I guess I'm, I'm an idiot and maybe I probably am. At least be honest on your website. Just tell us the truth. People are using you to gamble. So tell us what your main reason is for. And that is of course to gamble, to spend and probably to lose money. And the overall one point, I think the last point I want to make in this video, which could be an absolutely terrible video. So feel free to tell me down below if it is, because I feel like I'm just using my pent up anger right now to make a, make a video that I need to make during the week when I'm too busy to make other videos, but I'm just worried right now. And this is why I'm not going to be taking any VGO slash gambling sponsors for the next couple weeks. The main thing I'm actually worried about is price stabilization. If you guys know about VGO, it's origin as well. It's based on the blockchain. It is fictitious. Just like, uh, I guess you could say, I mean, I, even Ethereum and, and Bitcoin, those kind of things have more of a, a backing than this, but it is fictitious. And technically VGO can make as large a supply as they want to of all of these skins. They could flood the market with as much as they want. And there's really, it's based off supply and demand, just like CSGO. It's based off supply and demand the prices of these skins but the one thing that's big a big difference is the fact that CSGO skins are more desirable because you can see them in game that they, they have a variety of uh, floats and patterns so on and so forth and again that that goes in hand in hand with them actually being able to be held in game these cannot and we've seen over the past two weeks already the price stabilization is not there there's been a huge fluctuation of prices and so my main worry why I'm not taking sponsors anytime soon why I'm not going to trust VGO for the next couple weeks or so until they really prove themselves to be trustworthy is the large fluctuation in prices we've seen just in the past week or two because I, the last thing I'd want to do is actually promote VGO. You guys go out there and buy a bunch of VGO skins hoping they're going to go up in price and all of a sudden a month later the entire market crashes and just like the Bitcoin and, and Ethereum market, the cryptocurrency market right now, you all lose your money. That would be an absolutely terrible thing. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I'm a bit upset right now. Maybe I shouldn't be making this episode but I, I do kind of trust VGO and I certainly probably will in the future but as of right now, I will not be taking any video with them. It's kind of sad to see that this is pretty much straight up promotion for gambling. And again, even if you're promoting a CSGO gambling site, that is gambling as well. But there's really no ties here to the game. I don't see why any CSGO YouTubers would want to promote this. I just feel like I'm a record on repeat right now. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with more CSGO news. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. More importantly though, it's an open debate. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about the future of VGO? Is it worth actually trying to get invested into? Uh, I know on myself, I probably won't be doing that anytime soon as well. But leave a comment down below what you guys think. I will see you all tomorrow. As always, thank you all for watching. My name is Jake Malakiu. I'll see you all then.